You can use eSIM on your iPhone to connect to a cellular plan from your wireless carrier. We'll show you how to activate your plan using eSIM Quick Transfer while setting up your iPhone using eSIM Carrier Activation and other methods. We'll also show you how to activate a plan in settings after your iPhone is already set up. eSIM is compatible with iPhone XS, iPhone XS Max, iPhone XR, and later. You need to have a wireless carrier that supports eSIM, and you might need a Wi-Fi connection too. It's also a good idea to update your iPhone to the latest version of iOS. You can transfer your phone number from your previous iPhone to your new one using eSIM Quick Transfer if your carrier supports it. Make sure your previous iPhone is nearby and follow the prompts on your screen to begin setting up your new iPhone. When the Transfer Phone Number screen appears, tap the lines you want to transfer. Also, if your previous iPhone has a physical SIM card, you can convert it to an eSIM if your carrier supports it. Then, tap Continue and follow the prompts on your previous iPhone and your new iPhone until cellular setup is complete. When you finish setting up your iPhone, your eSIM will be ready to use. If your carrier assigns you an eSIM when you purchase your plan, it will activate automatically when you set up your iPhone. Follow the prompts on your screen to begin setting up your iPhone. Next, choose a Wi-Fi network. You might be asked to provide additional information during the setup process. Then, wait for your plan to activate. Keep following the prompts until cellular setup is complete. When you have cellular service, an icon in the upper right corner shows your signal strength. Finish setting up your iPhone and you're ready to go. Depending on your carrier, you might have to activate your eSIM using other methods, like scanning a QR code provided by your carrier. Follow the prompts to begin setting up your iPhone. When it's time to activate your eSIM, you can choose Use QR Code and scan the code. Then, just follow the prompts until your eSIM activates. You can install a new plan or set up an additional line in settings after your iPhone is set up. You might get a notification from your carrier to activate your plan, or you can open Settings and tap Cellular. If you're activating an eSIM for the first time, tap Set Up Cellular. If you have an existing cellular plan and are adding another line, you can follow the prompts to add an eSIM. Continue following the instructions to activate your eSIM. Depending on your carrier, you might be able to transfer the line if your previous device is nearby, or you might have to scan a QR code. Once you've completed the steps, your eSIM will be active and ready for use. All done! And that's how to activate an eSIM on your iPhone. Requires a carrier that supports eSIM and a wireless service plan. Some features not available in all countries and regions. Some sequences in this video were shortened.